Hi, my name is Juliana. I work as a clerical officer in the Department of Social Protection in the Health and Safety Unit. And my main responsibility is to provide the health and safety trainings across the department. The type of trainings I organize is mainly first aid, fire marshal, manual handling for all the, the staff across the department. Before I joined the civil service, I only had the live insert, equivalent to live insert uh, from Brazil. And when I applied for the TCO, was the first position I applied, I felt like I needed some um, help on my transition from the retail to the new career I was choosing to take. And I took a one-year course of business study, and I think it was great uh, to get me into the level and picture what I was going to work with. time in life that you have to you know make choices and say okay that's why I want to be and I want to be comfortable for so I know in the civil service I can manage my growth and I can plan that so it's much more you know a wide option than just a, a, a position. When I was 15 that you know civil service it was just for old people and it's definitely not and I think I see I'm happy to see now more young faces join in and you know feeling like you can blind yourself it's not such a you know a one one type of you know age of group or anything like that I had so much fear and thoughts and doubts that I couldn't fit in the the civil service was a place for me because first I'm not Irish and special English you know English is my second language so uh, the fear you know of uh, getting well with the people and be able to do my work. It was just things that I, I literally had in my mind and once I went to the process, the application, the, the aptitude tests and the interview, it was something much simple than actually get a job in the retail. Before I joined the civil service, uh, every time I had to use the service for whatever reason, I felt there was a lack of re representative out there and um, it, I think I started thinking how important it would be for me, especially with the language barrier at the time, to see an Im immigrant out on the counter. I think the immigrants should consider to apply to the public sector because the public sector is to help everyone and it should reflect the community. The work-life balance is something that is very important to me. I can plan ahead my week or my year, so I can plan to go to festivals or travel. And even next week, I know exactly my work hours during the week. There is not going to be a surprise, you know, that I have to work in the last minute of the weekend. It makes me feel like comfortable that I can enjoy my, my life social and not being so focused on work when I, I actually have to relax. It was my first week. I felt so welcomed and so supported and uh, I felt like, okay, I can relax my shoulders and feel even if I have any, any issues, there is a lot of people there that they will just, it's just normal people. And uh, I was really well supported. So it was really good. It's a really good start. I can clearly see myself uh, building a career in the public service because there is, a, there is a clear path for me to keep going and I know there is a lot of grades to be, to be found and then, then I would discover and learning and you know, getting through. And I had the most important, I think, from this path that I can see myself is that I have to support, you know, and uh, that's what it makes me feel proud to, to work where I am. And I think it's, it gives me the sense of security that I, I was looking for. I would definitely recommend uh, a student to consider to apply for the civil service because it doesn't matter what area that you're looking to, to work, there is a plenty of opportunities. You can work in IT, marketing, commercial. You don't need to be actually in that face-to-face uh, -face environment that I, I'd say probably people think it's just, you know, work with the public and there is a plenty of options out there. <laughs>